you know, with art, there's a nuance to it where I think I can add something. Because not everything's just uh, black and white. I think provoking conversation, I think in a constructive way. Art is my lane. That's where I can serve the community the best. Hello, my name is Terry A. Burton. I'm a local artist and I own a company called Cloud Farming. The creative industries where, where I kind of like made a home career-wise. 20 years later, I'm here, I'm back here, full circle, after going to uh, Cincinnati, Detroit, Cleveland. You know, I just got back from Detroit two years ago and kind of like coming back to uh, the basics where it all started for me. Usually with my process, I start out with a small drawing like this. Um, steal things out of the newspapers and clippings and stuff like that. And then I come up with something that um, is, a, is authentic. I don't know, original is a strong word. You know, you know, a tree's a tree. There are many different trees, but this was the end like design. Um, and then I usually take that and I would project that onto a canvas for larger things. I mean, you know, you have to get the lines down. But from there, you know, you have to know what you're doing as far as, I guess, you know, filling in color and stuff like that. It's almost like advanced paint by numbers. I'd say most of my work would be uh, collage in nature, but I do, I do draw. It's cumbersome to, to make an image, so I, I don't want to say cheat, but, you know, I just take some shortcuts and liberties because I think, you know, the most important for me is to get the message across. And um, definitely in this fast-paced world, um, you know, I use a computer a lot, you know, to generate images. More so now than when I first started, um, the computer has been integral to what I'm doing. And so I'm balancing between analog and digital worlds when it comes to visual art. I will remix um, paintings that I've made, you know, like actual objects into digital art. So, uh, you know, it, it's, it's like a, a spectrum a pendulum that goes back and forth between the two. Always stay thirsty for uh, different, you know, acquiring skills or knowledge, um, and and to be able to use your creativity in different ways. And that, I guess maybe that's because I have a business background. I guess that's the way I think. You know, one of my favorite artists is Andy Warhol. I think he was a great business artist. He was always thinking about how to um, make a buck. For example. I, you know, I, I got into graphic design by accident because someone said, hey, you know, you, do you make logos? And I'm like, yeah, I could make a logo. Okay, I'm going to pay you X amount of dollars. Regardless of whether you like it, you have to make a living. So just find something within the creative realm to apply, apply your creativity. And I could go into a room and make an interesting presentation um, for a client and have the skill set to do so. Um, and that leads me into, like I got into marketing. I think it all blends together for me as a, as a career. But not to just say, hey, I just do painting or I just do sculpture. Um, you know, it doesn't, for me, it doesn't seem 21st century.